Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have CRMS with 1,581 rating versus YCS champion Yuchi Hungary with 1,348 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and hopping right in, we will go ahead and see a couple ties, and then Yuchi will win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Nib, Sanctuary, Nib, Black Witch, and Original, uh, definitely not the greatest hand. Uh, then they have Golden Droplet, Fountain, Slumber, Freezing, Runic Tip. Uh, okay, so we can't tell exactly what kind of build of Runic this is yet, but we do see Golden Droplet, so it's either probably like a heavy combo build, like a heavy, heavy combo build with Synchro stuff, or this is just Stun. Go grab Destruction, make him banish a Black Witch, activate Fountain, and then Golden Droplet to make him draw and banish, so... Even though it does suck letting the opponent draw one, uh, being able to banish from their deck is huge, and then, I guess, I mean, it's not like, we had another way to get it in grave anyways if we wanted to, because something that you can do is you can go, like, Golden Droplet 1, and then let's say, like, I don't know, Slumber 2, uh, and you can use them both to special summon, to pretty much just put a spell on Graveyard for no reason, just so that way you can target it with Fountain if you don't want to activate its main effect, or if you can't. Like, right now, you could activate Freezing and the Slumber in the same chain, the both special. Obviously, you only get one summon, but just puts the spells into the grave. Also, they hit Island there. That's a huge hit. They also hit one Poplar. Hitting one Poplar isn't, like, the craziest thing ever, uh, but hitting Island definitely is. Uh, so now they're going to go Hugin, or, you know, Fountain 1, Hugin 2 to chain block the Fountain, and then go ahead, search out Fountain, put back, draw 3, um, so they're gonna go ahead, they can't put back Destruction, because that's what they discarded off Hugin, so, you know, target Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2 discard, that wasn't even in Graveyard yet, um, but why would you not want to put back Tip anyways? I guess maybe you leave Tip in Graveyard for Freaky, the level 5 that can add back a quick play spell, um, but okay, now they're gonna go activate Time Tearing, also... Okay, this card's broken whenever it resolves, by the way. This card is like, once you're up, you've won, guaranteed. But I'm on way Wano, it's kind of wild playing that over something like uh, like Jowgen. Especially like this deck has Runic Slumber, which works really well with Jowgen too. Said, so, oh, oops, I put wrong one, has to not be Destruction. Oh, yep, okay, nice, nice. So it was caught. And then pass, draws into the third copy of Rock versus a Runic Stun player. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, I was going to say, they already revealed what deck they're on. You honestly may as well try. It's not like you've like seen a lose condition yet. You might think one of the back row or floodgates, but it's actually not. Uh, summon Black Witch, effect was set wanted. Okay, obviously discarding Rock. Uh, activate Sanctuary now. And then just go in activate original, Sun Sanctuary, go summon. If they brought out Island, that would have been insane. Uh, bring out Snake Eye Ash from the deck. Okay, and then Snake Eye Ash effect. Uh, that's going to go ahead and grab out Poplar, and then Poplar effect to special. Now, do we play Divine Temple? Uh, we do play Divine Temple. Okay, so go ahead and grab that out from the deck to the hand. I'm just trying to think. So the opponent has Flashing plus Freezing. Which is obviously like the best interruption runic cards. It's actually not looking too good for Yuchi here. Just because like, I mean that's all they have. They're not drawing in the hand traps either. Unless if it's just like runic spells to try to stay alive or something. Uh, Divine Temple, bring out Flame Burge. Also Temple makes us say we're using the runic spells, not as good. Um, but now they're gonna go Poplar into a Link Karibo. Poplar, spawn trap zone itself, Flashing Fire onto the snake eye ash so that way it can't send itself plus flame burge yeah okay and then they're gonna go fountain okay so after that okay now obviously like it's like the opponent's gonna end up winning this right i mean we still have normal summon arvata and then like make a princess but that doesn't seem like crazy so they're gonna go put back off fountain draw destruction plus slumber and then they're gonna go destruction onto flame burge now like right now uh why 
I guess that's the thought process, right? Like, how, why at this exact moment, how would the opponent get a level 1 fire to graveyard without starting a chain link? Um, we already went through summon black, which I feel like we already went through this stuff. That would just bring it out, right? But, alright, I guess just go ahead, pop it now. And then make them banish. Okay, yep. And they just go ahead and emit the feet there. So on to the next game now. We will go ahead and see CRMS uh, decide to go first. We got Ash Blossom, Drone Lockbird, Kieran, Skyburn, Snake Eye Ash. They have Freezing Curses, Card of Demise, Flashing Fire, Freezing Cosmic. Oh, okay. So they play Cosmic in their Runic Stun deck. Um, Card of Demise is a very good card. They're going to go Snake Eye Ash and the Poplar. Poplar Summon. Poplar Go Search. Grab out the original. Okay, now let's see how they decide to do this combo. They don't have Black Witch or anything. Uh, so they're going to make Link Kribo, Poplar, Spawn Trap Zone, Snake Eye Ash, Send. Bring out Flame Burge. Flame Burge, Spawn Trap Zone, Poplar. Original Send. Bring out Ponyx. I don't know why we're playing it like this. It's like we're playing it safe. Against hand traps. Against a deck that obviously will not be throwing hand traps down against us. Like, this deck's going to be throwing down, like, maybe evenly. Sphere mode. Uh, like, maybe those type of going sucking cards. Uh, or, you know, mono Iwano, But, hand traps is not what I would be expecting. Island, destroy, go up into Garunix. Garunix, destroy Arvata. I guess, like... Technically, they don't know it's Runic Stun, right? I guess I forget exactly what they saw last game. They did see Golden Droplet, though. Um, Arvato bring out Ponix, but that doesn't reveal everything. Uh, so now they're going to go ahead, make Princess. Princess, summon back out Arvata. Sure. So, yeah, like, I think this is, like, you know, a fine play against other decks. But against this deck specifically, I don't know if this is the play I'd be making uh, now, some like Wolf Effect, add back, but it's still really good. Uh, it's going to be really hard for the opponent to break this. And then link off, go up in the Heat Soul, Heat Soul. We probably actually just make IP underneath, right? Yeah, I assume so. Heat Soul, draw on the Bestial Magma Mutt. Okay, we might actually just summon that and then use that plus Ponix to make it. Yeah. And this is like a this is a good card to side in because we probably had you know nib and other stuff like that on our deck list that's just not very good so you can just take that stuff out throw some bestials in. Uh, so now they're gonna go Ponix plus Arvata up in the IP set Skyburn pass. They draw into a skill drain, draw phase Cosmic on the Skyburn. Okay, so it's hitting the blank back row there. Um, they're gonna go Chain Heat Soul. We freezing curses the Heat Soul there. I guess we gotta get cards out of our hand for Demise anyways. Uh, so we're gonna go Set Skill Drain. Set Freezing. Activate Card of Demise. Uh, so either we're thinking about Chaining Flashing Fire to draw three. Or... Yeah, I think that's it, right? Or we're just trying to draw two. But we're gonna get hit with Ash Blossom there. So, end of main, and then end of main, they're going to go IP effect, which I'm not actually sure why they started off with IP effect there, right? Shouldn't they have gone, like, Kieran, destroy, I guess maybe they just don't want to destroy the snake eye ash in hand, I guess you could destroy heat soul too, but that kind of beats the purpose of the thing I was thinking about, okay, yeah, that's fine, so... They're going to pop IP, banish Moonlit, chill, Poplar. They said end of main phase. They said okay. Okay. What? Why would you not Kieran at least pop Heat Soul, right? And then you can go like Garunix, pop a back row. Like there's no shot if they're still saying end of main phase one that they're trying to like bluff you, right? There's just no shot you're getting bluffed into like a crazy play. And if you are, then... You know, well played on them for playing it like that. Uh, they said end of main phase 2. Uh, there is no main phase 2. Yes. Uh, you went battle phase? Yes, but battle phase was skipped. That's why, like, turn 1 of the duel, like, there's no main phase 2. Because there's no battle phase. And right there, they skip battle phase. So there's no main phase 2. 
Uh, they draw into a imperm, heat soul, pay a thousand, draw into oak, and they just let that go through. Okay, so they don't try to skill drain that. Uh, sure. I guess it's just so dumb. It's like, this deck beats skill drain. Because they can just, like, normal summon, make Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix, uh, you don't even have to target skill drain, to be honest. You can target the other set. And then activate Kieran in response. Pop Nightmare Phoenix, special out. Garunix, special out. Bestial Magma Mutt, special out. You know, stuff like that. And if they decide the Runic spell, then, like, Princess, special out. I guess that's not the best special out, though. But I guess then you get to pop Kieran, and then Kieran summons Arvata, and then the Kieran actually pops Skill Drain. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, they're gonna go Island Effect, destroy Kieran, go search out Kieran, and then we can go Kieran 1, Garunix 2. And then, yeah, Yuchi just goes ahead and admits defeat there. So on to the next game now. We will go ahead and see Yuchi decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Snake Eye, Ash, Valor, Imperm, Black Witch, one for one. Which, yeah, it's 100% fair enough to leave one for one in and against this deck going second. They have Time Tearing, Flashing Fire, Freezing, Duality, Freezing. So main phase, Duality, look at the top three, hit Skill Drain there, put the rest back into the deck now, shuffle up. And then activate time tearing. Pretty much just telling the opponent, like, hey, if you're not pushing through this turn, uh, I'll probably end up winning the game. So it's a flashing, skill drain, freezing, pass. They draw moonlit chill. So they had infinite ways to stop Hugh again. But uh, yeah, the opponent was not trying to go for that and just get hit with imperm. So obviously they couldn't even go for it that turn anyways because duality. Uh, but I kinda don't think they plan on going for it this turn, cause like, I don't know, if you plan on going for it this turn, maybe you should have gone like draw phase, flip, runic spell, go for Hugin, search fountain, I guess you can't draw phase it cause then you still get hit with imperm if they do have it, but like your own skill drain is gonna end up messing you up soon. Uh, but honestly just like runic spells plus skill drain and then draw two every turn is probably okay. Uh, for the time being, but they're gonna go one for one, discard Valor, bring out Poplar, Poplar effect, chain skill drain, then they're gonna make Link Karibo, Poplar spell, trap zone itself, sure, that's fine, special out, Black Witch, send Moonlit, and then now we will go normal, summon out Snake Eye Ash, sure, effect, send itself plus Poplar, uh, bring out Flame Burge from the deck, Sure, that is fine. And then they're going to go Flame Burge plus Link Karibo to make a Hida. And then Flame Burge effect. Summon back out Poplar and Snake Eye Ash. Sure, that's good. And then they're going to go Snake Eye Ash effect, Chain Link Karibo. So, you know, effect to search Chain Link 1, Link Karibo, Chain Link 2, Tribute, Special Out, Snake Eye Ash resolves and goes searches out for Ponix, which... I mean, technically, eventually, right? We can go, like, next turn, we can try to go, like, Ponix, Chain Link, Karibo, search Skyburn, and try to get stuff up, stuff set up eventually. I guess maybe you go, like, maybe you try to set up Island first. But okay, they're gonna go Battle Phase, Attack. Yeah, you probably definitely go Island first, the more I think about it, because you can just go Island, like, destroy Link, Karibo, go search Kieran. Next turn, you have Island, destroy Kieran, summon back out Ponix, but okay. Attack, on the attack they're gonna go freezing, summon out the runic fangs, level 4, the Jerry, and then they're gonna beat over Jerry, Jerry effect, pop black witch, and then they're gonna go ahead and attack for 300, and then main phase 2, so I'm saying like runic spells, like one runic spell there, made it so that way they only took 300 damage. They still have two other runic spells, and they have, like, a better one, too, that pops. So they're going to make access code, which can out skill drain. Um, but they're just going to go ahead and pop it right there. Because they can banish itself for cost to go ahead and pop. And then pass. They draw card scanner and runic fount. Okay, what does card scanner do? So it's a continuous spell. This card looks like the card trader. Uh, once per turn, you can declare one card type. Monster spell or trap. Uh, both players reveal the bottom card of their decks, and if it was the declared card type, they add it to their hand. Okay, otherwise they place it 
on the top of their deck. If this card face up in its owner spell in trap zone is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can make your opponent place one card from their hand onto the bottom of their deck. Okay, I was trying to think through this card while reading it. So I guess you can activate this card, call spell, because it should almost always be a spell at the bottom of your deck. If it's a trap, that just means you draw into it. Otherwise, it's mono Iwano. Huh. Yeah, that's an interesting card for sure. I'm not going to lie. It's a cool card, though. So they're going to go activate Fountain, activate Freezing, special out Hugin, and then new Chain Link. Uh, I was going to say, to be honest, we might even Hugin Chain Block this. Just to make sure that the Fountain goes through to draw three. Because I feel like if it does go through to draw three, then we win. I guess the thing is, like, we're really, we're really just winning here, like, almost no matter what. Because we know our opponent has Ponix. You know, like I said, Ponix 1, Link Rebo 2. That's really, like, Sanctuary Island. Island destroys, search for another turn. But the thing is, it won't ever end up working out. The opponent's going to get to Destructions. They're going to get the Vanishes. Yeah, they just say GG's there. Okay. Uh, I wonder if they were going to chain block this or not. It doesn't look like it because they're viewing the graveyard. And also, like, even if you do get... I guess I guess you just don't hand trap it, right? I mean, you don't chain block it is what I meant to say. Because if they do hand trap it, it's actually just fine. Because then they have Ponix, which we know doesn't do enough by itself. It takes a whole nother turn for that card to get set up. And they have their draw for turn, which I guess could be Kieran. Yeah, it could be Kieran. Uh, that would that'd be solid. Oh, uh, but they would have to, like, specifically draw that. They'd have to. They'd have to have Ash or Bell there. And then you still have, like, Card Scanner that can still try to get you, like, a Runic spell to hand to try to have, like, draw three set up next turn or something. But, okay, that is going to be it for the video. Okay, the match was only about 23 minutes long. It's a pretty quick match, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I guess it didn't feel like that long of a match, but... Okay, we do end up seeing Yuchi win there over CRMS041. And yeah, now we're going to see Runic Stun win. I think this is like the second time that we've seen the deck uh, in the last couple days. Because we saw, well, I mean, I didn't see it. But Bank1W did play this deck at a regional, pretty sure in Germany. Uh, so I think a lot of people are just trying to play the deck because, you know, he played it and the deck's cool. And honestly, stun isn't even like that bad, okay? But alright, with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.